It's been several years since I looked into an electric scooter and back in the day they were still not that popular. When I got my Xiaomi electric scooter they were just coming out and they were becoming very popular but now they're all over the place. So today we're going to look at another modernized offering from a different company but before that a word from our sponsor. Busy Future at the moment between August 10 and September 10 Busy Future are running a very good promotion back to school that you can get all of the products there with my promotional code HWS that's going to give you 15% off not only that but they're going to send you a free gift and the shipping is going to be half of the price which is great and now we know all the kids are going back to school so any discount helps and as less money you can spend the better because we know there's a lot of things to be bought for the school year. Now it's extremely easy to navigate through the Busy Future website, find the correct product you want to purchase, go ahead, add it to your cart, apply my HWS 15% off code, and that's gonna drop down the price. So if this model currently retails uh, about $123 on their website, and if you apply my promotional code for 15% off, this is gonna drop it down to about $102, which I think it's a very good price considering how many features and options this keyboard has compared to many others and believe me I had plenty of keyboards they're costing more than that and, if, and offer less features and less options and less ergonomics and a lot of things that I really don't like where this one beats them by a lot now of course not only this keyboard but they have a ton of other models from Dario and other companies they have gaming mice they have gaming peripherals all kinds of things that can be used not only of course for gaming but schoolwork as well and we know it's a good combination to have the schoolwork and gaming balance so we stay on top of things right so the Dario A98 industry uh, edition we're gonna quickly look uh, very nice packaging by the way and this is a sleeved box which I really like right on top we have the keyboard layout explanation with uh, some of the key combinations we have the user manual which again unfortunately is all in Chinese and we have some English here in the back. What else is here from Dario? This is their new Sky Switch V3. And we have some more graphics of the keyboard right here on the bottom. Uh, great thing to see. We have two little boxes on the side. And on the right side, we have the key extraction tool. We have a couple of different keys, which are uh, very nicely colored yellow and kind of a, a navy blue and on the left side there's our cable usb-c to uh, usb-a now the theme of the keyboard i really like how it's uh, sort of a gray or a light blue looking with a little bit of white and of course uh, here is the back where all the magic happens like i said a uh, cable goes in the middle and can be routed straight in the back or to the left or right. This is amazing and I like to see these kind of features all the time. Rubber feet on point and we have rubber feet even on the stands. Full numeric pad for those of you that really, really like having a full keyboard and a keyboard that can be used for all kinds of games. Surprisingly not that wide and not that big considering that it's a full numeric keypad. Uh, but yeah, this is for the unboxing. We're gonna talk about it in a second. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardware Sense channel. My name is Ivan and today we are looking at another electric scooter by the company called Wheelspeed uh, with the model WS1. I guess this is Wheelspeed 1. And what I was really attracted to this model is the bigger tires and the added suspension. So I was always curious how much these electric scooters have evolved over the last past couple of years. Uh, and I bought another one, another model. This is GoTrax, which they're kind of popular as well. Uh, later after my Xiaomi to give to my daughter so she can ride around the neighborhood. So comparing both back in the day, they were pretty similar. Same 8.5 inch tires, uh, same no suspension, same speeds, pretty much the same range you can get. Uh, and the, the, the right quality, especially if you're older <laughs> with some older knees like myself, uh, might not be that great considering the fact that you might want to replace the tires with some solid tires because we know no matter what you do you're eventually going to get a puncture and replacing these tires and patching them it's like a huge pain so regardless uh, i saw this scooter it had some good features bigger tires 10 inch uh, tires added suspension and i was curious i wanted to grab it i bought it and i'm going to review it for you guys so you can see how the wheel speed scooter compares to my current or my daughter's current go tracks now of course i'm going to go around the unboxing and we're going to go all around the features so be prepared for a longer video of course i'm going to have a follow-up video with the ride quality 
I'm gonna try to do some night footage as well because this scooter has some uh, very nice lighting around. And of course, at the end, I'm gonna talk to you about it in the conclusion. Now, it's been a while since I did a review of for electric scooter. You see some of the features on the box. We have 15 miles uh, max speed, 10 inch pneumatic tires, maximum weight of 265 pounds, which is about 120, 125 kilos. And we have some of the other features right here cruise control portable hand operated disc brakes ipx4 water resistance and again the weight uh, but what's interesting about this one is we have a suspension actual suspension on the back so the rear wheel have a gas spring similar to what uh, motorcycles or vehicles have they go right here underneath so I'm kind of interested about this one and see what uh, the benefit will be uh, but what you're seeing on the background over there is the go tracks that's another scooter that I've had for quite a while. I haven't done the review for that, uh, but my daughter's been using it pretty regularly and she absolutely loved that thing. And so let me go ahead and cut some of the things over here. See what is inside the box. Uh, quite heavy. Keep in mind, if you order this one, you might need two people to carry it. So right on top, we have the charger and this is how it's packed inside. Front and just slide it off the box. So well packed coming in these uh, foams on both sides. As you can see, uh, well protected with no problems. I, I love when companies are using uh, this sort of a foams. This is much more expensive and uh, well isolating foam than the regular stereo foams. And if I take it out of the plastic uh, and just lay it to the side real quick, we have a quick start guide inside. We have the little tube for uh, pumping the tires and we have the Allen wrench. If you uh, have to uh, do some repairs, hopefully you don't have to, but uh, I'm gonna say that many times throughout this video. Uh, one of the major issues with these uh, type of uh, scooters are the pneumatic uh, tires which means a tire with an inner tube. So easy to puncture. And as you can see in the back, the go tracks, because my daughter had a puncture on the back tire, I had to replace it with these uh, kind of a newer style, which are very popular now. They have a perforation, so around, which helps with the ride. It becomes uh, much more comfortable than absolutely solid tires. But these are solid tires with these perforations, so they offer some comfort at the same time you're not uh, afraid of uh, punctures because trust me i've done it many times it is absolutely pain to uh, patch those tires or replace them front one where the motor is here is still the original and i hope she doesn't do any punctures here because it's gonna it's gonna be a major major pain uh, that's why i didn't replace it right off the bat because especially the one with the motor in the front it's very hard to take off and replace so i really hope that uh, companies will start making scooters with solid tires straight uh, from the factories so it comes uh, folded like this i'm just hoping that the actual outer tire uh, is a little bit thicker to resist more of small punctures that are um, absolute menace uh, for these kind of uh, scooters so now if i cut these strings we'll see what else is inside we have the handlebar folded we gotta attach that ourselves the cable is already on it for the brake uh, just quick tour around how it's folded like this we have large light reflectors on the front so these are gonna provide some fancy lighting in the middle of the night here is our charging port covered by this rubber tab hopefully it's not gonna rip and collect some dirt in there and you can kind of see where this the suspension and they're providing so the whole wheel in the back is suspended and will provide a little bit more comfort we'll see how it compares uh, to the go tracks obviously so for the handlebar on top uh, no really tools necessary it just clicks in place but just remember before you put it in place to attach the cables uh, this cable comes from the handlebar and this one comes from the bottom part of it they connect so you can have the headlights and you can have the display right here so don't forget to connect these uh, before you assemble it so now with unfolded uh, stem and handlebar you can actually see how much bigger and taller this scooter is compared to the uh, go tracks not only because of the tires but it seems like the stem and the handlebars are extending a little bit higher very easy to fold and unfold you just need to pull on this uh, red or kind of orange tab up and then you fold it down same thing when you go up to unfold it you pull and unfold uh, that's a good thing to see uh, we have a nice branding right on top of the rubberized portion fenders on the back and on the front and the good thing about this fender is actually we have a light 
that goes on the back where the go tracks only has a light reflector right there where this one has cable standing underneath you'll see going inside so this is light up we have uh, disc brakes on the back you can kind of see the suspension here as well and on the front we have the motor which is 350 watts uh, same as in the gore tracks by the way promising uh, speeds up to 15 miles and battery that it's promising about 20 miles of duration of your ride time very nice front fender big side stickers for uh, the light reflection kind of a sectagon for the stem and if you can see the stem if I unfold it like right here and you pull it up, this is the little click that I was talking about. Uh, once it's inside, you can kind of tighten it up here. And this is all metal, by the way, no plastic uh, at all. Right on top, we had rubber, very nice rubber handlebars. We have our throttle right here. On the left side, we have our brake, which by the way, once you brake, not only breaks the rear disc right there, as you can see, but also is using the electric uh, ABS which makes the motor a brake as well. So you're braking on bolt wheels for a better stopping. Right here we have a little ring, which actually sounds excellent. Kind of has a little click. This one is a little bit more basic right here. All you need to do is this. On the wheel speed, once we turn it on, again, we have miles per hour. We have the battery charge and some light indicators we're gonna uh, check out in the manual in a second and here's the explanation on the manual when it comes to this display we have a better level indicator speedometer gear push assist when you're switching the scooter to push assist mode the icon the icon will light up headlight when the headlight is on the headlight icon will light up as well and then cruise control some more technical information here in the back that i wanted to point your attention to top speed like i said 50 miles an hour 350 watt uh, motor peak is 700 watts. I don't know how it's doubling, but we'll figure that out. Distance per charge about 22 miles. So I was, I was a little bit off by two miles, but uh, depending on the weight, expect less. 265 uh, pounds maximum uh, capacity, and the battery capacity is 8.7 amp hours. 42 volts, 1.5 amps. Battery charger charging time is about six hours, so overnight. And luckily the charger is uh, international. So if you buy it in the States, you can take it overseas and use it there. I don't know how you're gonna transport it, but it can be done. Tire size is 10 inch. The PSI on the tires is 30 PSI. So make sure to inflate them up to 30 uh, PSI. One time uh, push assist, that's gear one and gear two and push assist again. Turn off and on uh, headlights. We're gonna press twice real quick. The headlight is on and the tail light is on. And if we press it three times, so both sides lit up nicely. I'm expecting at night, this is actually gonna look very good. Hopefully I can do some footage at night so you guys can see how well lights up. And if we wanna turn it off, we're gonna do it three times again. One, two, three. And now the light is off. I have to say the slightly bigger size than the Go Track, it really looks nice in my opinion. It's definitely better for some adults, uh, and bigger kids, of course. You can see the design and the overall look of the top. I really like that. It seems better than the cover on the go tracks we have nice and big light reflectors on both sides but if you're riding at night you probably is better to turn on the light all the lights to be much better visible for traffic or people that's it for the unboxing and overview now if i park it right next to it you will see the difference in sizes much longer than the go tracks also stands higher off the ground because of the tire size we have 10 inch tires versus eight in the back the handlebar and stem are extending and that will be much more convenient for an adults obviously this one has the suspension and the go tracks does not now obviously you're gonna see some uh, plastic misperfections here and there you know nicks and stuff like that that's not a problem because uh, trust me once you start it, start riding it <laughs> you're gonna make some of those yourself uh, but on a first ride, I have to say, uh, much, much more comfortable than any other scooters I've seen. Not only because of the big tires, or bigger tires, I guess, but because of this uh, suspension right here. Especially on the rear tire, you're going through uh, small curbs, uh, imperfections on the road, and everything is absorbed really nicely. And of course, I'm going to have uh, follow-up videos for this one, and I'm going to compare it to another one. 
that it's coming my way for a review see how three stuck together all right conclusion time and what do i think about the wheel speed ws1 well i have to say i'm quite impressed i was not expecting the ride quality to be so much better compared to these older models that don't have any kind of suspension uh, the 8.5 inch uh, wheels on the other scooter i have uh, definitely don't provide that much of a ride quality and combination with the back uh, gas suspension or spring suspension with 10 inch uh, wheels definitely gives you a much much better ride quality now the speed is the same the range is pretty much the same i think wheel speed have another uh, model they're uh, the they're calling it the pro which has uh, double the range uh, and the speed is up to almost 20 miles this one is 15 the other one is 20 so if you want a little bit more speed and a little bit of longer range you might want to invest in that pro model but the base one that i have it's still pretty good uh, you have three different uh, types of speeds the the gear one is up to 10 miles the gear two is up to 15 miles and you have assisted one which is up to like three miles if you push and kind of uh, use the motor as well um, so far i'm pretty impressed the best thing about this specific scooter is the ride quality of course we have a headlight we have a tail light we have a nice display that shows all the necessary information you need and the cover the rubber cover on top of the scooter is very nice rides a little bit higher off the ground so you can kind of clear some obstacles so overall so far i'm very impressed it's easy to fold put it back in the trunk of your car just keep in mind it's because it's slightly longer and bigger than those standard 8.5 inch wheeled uh, scooters you might need a bigger trunk so if you have a smaller car it might not fit so you gotta uh, kind of make that judgment but if you live in the united states most most likely you have a bigger car so it's not going to be a problem so you can take it to a trips and stuff like that but yeah i have to say i'm a huge fan so far i really like these uh bigger size tires now i'm really hoping i'm not going to get any punctures because replacing these tires it's going to be a huge pain again and i know some of the right quality will suffer because of that but this is the uh, kind of issue you have with these kind of scooters so that's why i was hoping uh, maybe they will create uh, some straight off the factory scooters with solid tires they kind of mimic the ones i showed you with uh, the little perforations so that way you have a little bit more cushioning and at the same time it's never going to puncture and you can ride uh, forever until the battery uh, gets depleted at some point long story short i'm impressed with this one i really like it i definitely recommend it uh, and um, i have another one coming my way so hopefully uh, we can go and do a comparison between all three and you guys can see some of the best features among all three of them and some that i think engineering needs to think a little bit more before they release the product on the market so that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the link in the description below if you want to support the channel directly so it can bring you videos like that daily and as always guys you have a wonderful day